we're going to need a couple more uh, entities before we can start doing some event handling, some uh, trigger ins and outs. Pull up your entities one more time and then go find TF game rules and put one of those in your map. Again, I like to keep everything in the same area, so I'm going to put that right next to my team control point master. And then go find TF logic cough. TF logic king of the hill. And then put one of those in your map also. All right. So now we're set. A TF game rules, which is what this is, um, go ahead and pull up the uh, properties because we're going to need to modify something here. Essentially handles all of the game rules in a given uh, in a given game type. I mean, it, it, you put this in your map, no matter if you're putting if you're making a payload map, if you're making a capture the flag map, or if you're making a king of the hill map, like we are now, or any other game type. It handles the functions of of how fast teams spawn and and what other actions that happen depending on the state of the game. So give this a name. I'm going to name mine Game Rules. You can name yours whatever you want. Just remember it. And our TF Logic King of the Hill, pull up the properties there and give this a name. I'm going to name it Logic K-O-T-H. The, the TF Logic King of the Hill is a special entity just for King of the Hill it's going to create those two timers at the top of the screen that indicate how close red is to winning the game and how close blue is to winning the game. And it's also going to, you can use this to set the uh, timer length for each team. And the, the default value is 180, which is three minutes. And then how long it takes to unlock the hill at the beginning of the game which is 30 seconds, because there's a delay and a setup time before the, the uh, hill actually becomes active. So hit apply. Now we're going to start doing some uh, event handling. Everything happens once players enter in this uh, trigger zone. So pull up the properties on our trigger capture area, and then go into outputs. Oops. Your output should be blank. Then hit add. Now we're going to need to add all the events and what happens, uh, what uh, effects that happen uh, when those events are met to our outputs. Go find in the drop down box or you can just type it in on cap team one. Target entities named, game rules. Via this input, you can scroll down and say, let's see, set blue team respawn, or uh, yeah, respawn wave time. And then parameter override four. I'll explain what this means in a bit. Add it again. On cap team one, game rules, set red team respawn time respawn wave time, and then make that 8. So these two rules is once the cap team 1, uh, team 1 being the red team, it's never actually explained, but team 1 is the red team, once the red team captures the point, the blue team will have a shorter respawn wave time, 4, and the red team's respawn time will actually increase to 8. So uh, this is to make it. This is what uh, Valve does in their King of the Hill maps, and this is what makes it fair uh, to have the um, the losing team a chance to get onto the point and uh, c keep the game going a little bit longer, so it's not overpowered. That's what that does. Let's copy those. Oops. And then paste. Except these, we're going to say on cap team two. You can grab them both and then do uh, on cap team 2 for my output named and then for the red and this means once the blue team captures the point we're going to need to do uh, the exact opposite we're going to change we're going to change the red respawn time to 4 giving them less time to respawn and then we're going to change the blue team respawn wave time to 8 giving them more time to respawn 
OK, add another one. On cap team one, target entities named game rules. Via this input, set red cough clock active. So once the red team captures the point, the red team timer will start counting down. When it reaches zero, red team has won the game. Copy this, make another one, except on cap team two, and you can guess where this is going, set blue cough clock active. So once the blue team captures the point, then the red, then the blue team's clock will start um, uh, counting down. One last thing we're going to need to do is change the prop skin of the prop there, depending on who's capturing the point. So add another one on cap team one, target entities named hill prop. You might have named yours something differently, but that's the the uh, little disc-shaped um, hill point right there. Via this input, skin, you can find it in the pull-down menu if you like, with parameter override of, and since the red team is team 1, type in 1 there. So this will change the skin of the prop from 0, which is blank, to 1, which is red. Copy that output and then do the same thing for the blue team. On cap team 2, hill prop, skin, with parameter override of 2. Then hit apply. Awesome. Now everything's in place for that, um, for our capturing. It's almost done. One last thing we're going to need to have is some events that happen at the beginning of the game. To do this, you'll need an entity called logic oops logic auto put that with the rest of your entities a logic auto is something that uh, can recognize certain events like when the game starts when it ends when you change maps that kind of thing so we're going to hit our logic auto up go to outputs add on map spawn, target entities named game rules. Via this input, set red team respawn wave time to 6. And we're going to copy and paste, do the same thing to the blue team. So that means at the beginning of the game, when the map spawns, the red team and the blue team's respawn wave times will be reset to six seconds. They'll change every time a point is captured, but we will want to reset this clock every time a new game happens. So that's what this is here for. Finally, add two more. We can do both of these at the same time. On map spawn, target entities named game rules. Via this input, and now we'll need to, to break up and say uh, set blue team goal string. And then here, the other one will set red team goal string. And for both of these, we're going to need a parameter override of uh, pound symbol. Is that the pound symbol? Pound symbol. K O T H setup goal. This is something that's in your um, your files and are in your uh, Valve Hammer editor files, or in your um, yeah, it's in your game files, and it's something that will display on the HUD, capture the point. Um, it'll it'll give the instructions to either the red team or the blue team, depending on which team you're on, to go capture the point. All right, that should be it. Hit apply for everything. Save it, and let's run the map.